everybody, Kat from Creative Crafts here, and just want to apologize that I haven't made any videos lately. Um, a little bit stress and things like that, you know, normal life things. But today I decided to make a video because I found this in the garbage. We have a thing here in Germany, it's called Sparmü. And you have to order people to come pick up lots of stuff. If, like if you renovate your home, you can put it all out there and tell them what they need to come pick up. And I found this in the neighbor's garbage and I took it out in the Schwamu. A lot of people do that. They throw good stuff away. You can see that they had painted this one time before white. But I want to change this color. I'm going to paint it gold. I'm going to renovate and plus I'm going to be using some recycled things so that um, I can make this into a beautiful um, piece for my wall. So let's get started. Like I said to you before, we're going to recycle. And I'm recycling these pieces of branches that they cut off an old tree. The gardener, I asked if uh, he can give me some, um, and he let me have these. I cut off all the little branches off them with the buds on them. And this, these are the ones I'm going to be using for here. But then I'm also going to recycle these and do something else, but that's a different video. So. The next, the very next step is painting this gold so that the effects in the back look much better with the wood than the white. So let's get this painted and then we go to the next step. So everybody, now like I said, what I want to do is paint this gold. I have this color which I bought at a, this company here. It's a very nice company and it's good paint. You can also use cheap paint. You don't have to buy anything that's expensive. So. I don't want to use a tablet or a plate or whatever, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this paint down and just pour the paint onto there and work my way around it. So I have to keep looking at my camera. paint. If you want you can put several coats but very thin coats and it'll look much better. You don't want to put too much. That's why I said it's better to do it that way. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to put another coat or two, three coats. It depends if I like it or not. I think two coats should be fine because I'm putting the wood pieces on top. So you really just need it so they don't see the white thing, the white background. I'd rather have the gold, which actually goes with the theme of my living room. So this is so far, this is the step, one of the steps. So now we need to wait until it dries. Like I said, I'll do another coat. And then the very next step is taking your branches and gluing them onto the gold area. So wait for that. So the next step is sorting out your stick pieces that you need, the branches. What I did here is like I said, I cut them off from the big branch and I put the long ones here, a little bit more, some shorter, then more shorter, and then I put odds and ends here. 
Because if you want to, when you glue them on here, you want to do it so it looks even. You don't want to make it uneven. So what you're going to do now is get your glue gun, and I'm going to use also, um, I think it's the E6000, whip it together because if you just use glue, normal hot glue, what's going to happen, it may, when you try to hang it up, it may come off the branches because the glue is not really that strong, especially if there's paint underneath it. So what you're going to do is use both, in my opinion, and you can do that. Mine is going to be really massive. This is already very heavy because it's um, real wood. So if you make one with just cardboard, it will be less heavy. So then you don't have to worry about all this. As you can see, this, you can still see that it's not completely... I couldn't put another coat of uh, paint, but I decided not to. I decided because once I'm putting the pieces of the branches on, you're not going to see most of it. I just wanted to have no white behind it. So let's get started. As you can see here, what I did is I um, just didn't glue anything on there yet. I just put them where how I want to have them. The really big ones, I don't think it's practical to use them. So I'm going to have to cut them all down a little bit, but I want them to, you know, look like a sun. You know, some branches are bigger in some areas, some are shorter, some are, you know, in between, all around the whole mirror. This is my idea of what I want to do. But so far you have the idea exactly what I want to do here. And yeah, once I start gluing, we'll go to that part next. So now I'm going to start gluing. What I, like I told you, I suggest that you use the E6000. I can get it open. All right, now we're gonna start gluing. And like I said, the E6000 and hot glue at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is gonna take the longest one and I'm just gonna like stick just a tiny bit. I don't wanna put too much. And then the same thing goes for the hot glue. Isn't that not getting hot? All right, that's not hot enough still. All right, you have to wait a little bit. As you can see, I started already to glue it. Like I said, I used both glues because I want it to be stable. So I'm gonna do this, just very little. Same thing goes for the hot glue because the hot glue will help keep the stick in place. Make sure you stick the sticks in a position where you know that um, it's not sticking inwards. It's better to stick outwards because if you stick it inwards, then when you try to stick it on the wall, it's going to be more difficult. So make sure that you have them like you see here, have them all coming out like this if you have ones that bend. This is what I'm basically what I'm doing. So, like I said, I did I put some here already. And you don't need much. And do it like this. You won't see the glue once it's cooled. Because I'm not, I'm gonna put up the, the whole trees, the branches all around, so they're gonna be all across here too. But you have to do it like this, like I'm doing like this. So that you can decide, put which sizes so it looks like an actual sun. My experiment didn't really work very well 
with the glue, even with the hot glue, with the E6000 it would have worked good, but the thing is, if they move too much, it needs 24 hours to dry. So I end up getting my electric staple gun and using the hot glue and then stapling it in the ends near the mirror. Not too close to the mirror because you don't want to break the mirror. So th that makes it more stable. I think that looks better. The first few, you're going to do that to it. But then when you start gluing trees on top of the trees, um, it should uh, glue better. You wouldn't need the gun anymore. I got this from Lidl for $11.99. It works awesome. So let's, I did all these. Now I'm going to go around again. I try to use a normal hand stapler, but for some reason it doesn't work. So I have to put that away. So now it's time to take some of these big pieces and cut them down because they're way too big. So this is what I'm going to do, stick some more all around it. product uh, but you see that what I did here I stapled all the things all around now what I'm going to do is the next step is I'm going to glue some broken glass uh, broken mirror pieces it's you buy I bought them extra from Ikea it's in the container and I'm going to cover up all these areas where you see the staples. It's going to be very thin coating. I don't want to make it too thick. But that's what we're going to do next. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get a glue. You don't want to use paint or anything like that. You just want to use a glue. And I got this. Um, it's almost like Elmer's glue, you could say. It's pretty thick. What you're going to do is gently put some on there all around the areas where you see the staples so that it's covered. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pieces that I told you about. And I'm going to take a spoon and just let it cover. And that's all you need to do. You have to make sure you put the glue on there pretty thick. So let's go further. mirror pieces on the mirror here and now what we're going to do is wait until it dries tip it and knock off whatever extra glass pieces that are on there tip it off and see if I may have to go over it in other areas once again so that it's all covered but this should work just the way it is so let's wait for the end product and when it's dry I'll see you then Hey, well, this is the finished project. This is my um, mirror with the uh, uh, branches glued on it. And then I put 
some, um, like I said before, that were like glass and mirror pieces. They were made like that. I got it from Ikea. It was like deco stuff. And I just glued it on there with this like Elma's glue or wood glue. It, when it dries, it's clear. And I think it came out awesome. I love it. It's, it's, I'm so happy about it. It looks so great. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to follow me on um, Facebook, Pinterest, Inst Instagram, and Twitter, I will have the link below. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, I would love it if you joined our family. If you want to get notifications about when I post a video, press that little bell on the side of the subscription button and you will get a notification every time I post a new video. And if you want to, please comment below. It's very important to me that my subscribers comment. If there's anything that you don't like, anything that um, you really like, or something you would like to see me do, please make a comment. Bye.